And so it's pretty sad to see this black 2003 Mustang Mach 1 getting parted out. I don't understand why they would part out a car like this that looks complete. It doesn't look like it has any accidents. The side skirts do look like they're a little bit off, but maybe it ran over something and the whole underside got wrinkled or something. I don't know, but they're selling all the specific parts like the C-pillars and glass and, you know, the engine and transmission, so that shows that they're working. And so it's just really interesting to see a complete Mustang that is being parted out for no good reason. Now there are reasons that people part cars out like this that are complete. Perhaps the rust on the underside is so bad that you can see the floor through them. You know, maybe the uh, torque boxes are completely rusted out. I believe this car was in New York, so that's a definite possibility. Uh, but it did look like a pretty nice car. Sometimes people park cars out because they don't have the title to them and the bank's going to take them and so they figure they'll just sell everything off of it and get their money, maybe even pay back the loan, but they get the money that they owe and uh, some people just want to part it out and keep the money and then let the bank come take what's left of it. And so I'm not making accusations here, but there are these types of situations that happen. Sometimes people are about to lose the car. Sometimes they have a friend who's going to lose the car, so they'll part it out for them and get to keep some of the money. Sometimes they buy the car like this with no title, and they don't want to go through the trouble of trying to get the title for it. They'd rather just quickly sell all the parts off of it. Um, but you have to consider that with all the that they had listed it added up to be about seven grand. I would say a Mach 1 is definitely worth that. Uh, it didn't say, oh, it did say the mileage was about 100,000 on it, so that's still relatively low. Um, but, you know, you have to consider that to pull the engine, transmission, all that stuff, it's not free. It takes your time, it, you know. So if you're going to do all that and then at the end have like seven grand, why don't you just sell the car for seven grand and keep all your time? So, not sure exactly why, but to me it's sad to see such an iconic car like this black Mach 1 Mustang being completely parted out with a running drivetrain and no real reason to it. Now, they didn't even say in the ad, you know, this is wrong with it, this is wrong with it. So, uh, just really too bad to see, but we'll document this car. Looking inside the window, you can see the large headrests. We will assume it's an interior upgrade package car, which makes it one of 1,367 black O3s with that option. And as well, it has a 5-speed because that's what they have in the listing, and that would make it one of 1,797 black O3 Mach 1s with the 5-speed out of a total of 2,250 black Mach 1s for 2003. The car did look pretty stock other than that. It did have a center force clutch sticker on the side, so I don't know if somebody recognizes that or not, but uh, just really too bad to see a Mach 1 that's lived this long and made it this long and now is going to end its life being parted out. So hopefully it was for a good reason. Maybe the parts will go into a V6 or some other car that they can um, live on and basically be this Mach 1 driving down the road again in another form, but it's really too bad to see. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, although it is a little bit sad. I wanted to document the car. There are so many of these that we're going to look back at in the future and say, I can't believe somebody got rid of that car because that was a real Mach 1. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more Mustang content.